today I'm so excited because I have 10 different fall pumpkin DIYs. If DIYs, decor, and hauls are your thing, then you're going to want to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. This past week I've been sick and I didn't want to go out because I was really nervous that it was COVID. Thankfully it's not. But when I was feeling up to it, since I was home so much, I got to craft a lot. I am so excited because I was able to make 10 projects and this has been such a goal of mine to put out a video where I had 10 different projects. I think they're all so cute and they work so well with farmhouse decor. They're really simple so anyone can do them. So without further ado, let's get started. For this first project, I will be using this large wooden cutout from Dollar Tree. I started off by measuring two inches apart. I did this to create the look of wooden planks. So I will be connecting these dots and then covering those lines with electric black tape. Tape is only three millimeters wide, which is important because you don't want the grooves between the wood planks to look too thick or it won't look realistic. And then when I was all done prepping the pumpkin, it was time to start making the wood planks. So I used caulk to do it. I did a similar thing like this in my last video where I spread out the caulk in one direction, so either left to right or right to left, but not up and down because I want it to look like there's a wood grain and it wouldn't make sense if the lines went in opposite directions. Even though I tried this in a different video before, I was so excited to try it on a much larger scale. I let it dry overnight and then the next morning I carefully peeled off the tape. I probably could have done it a little quicker, but I was just really nervous that it would also peel off the caulk. And then I used Minwax Special Walnut Stain and I just painted that all over the pumpkin. And as I was painting it, I was so excited by how it looked. The second coat really made a difference. I applied it 15 minutes after the first coat and then I waited a while to wipe off the stain after the second coat and you definitely do have to wipe it off because if you don't, it will just stay sticky. When it was all done drying, I started to decorate my sign. So I used this ribbon from Dollar Tree. I cut it a little longer than the pumpkin and then I glued it. I added this word harvest from Dollar Tree and I just hot glued that on as well. And then I added on this leaf. It came from this pack from Dollar Tree. I just spackled in the little hole, of course, and then I painted it mixing together apple barrel cardinal crimson and nutmeg brown. I wanted to do this to tie in the red from the ribbon. I thought that would look cute. I didn't want the leaf to be sitting all alone up there, so I used this mesh tube from Dollar Tree and I just made a ribbon out of it, and then I glued everything down. For this next project, I used this cutout from a different dollar store and I just painted it with Folk Arts white chalk paint. So I was trying to get this look from Kirkland's they had last year where it looks like it had a sweater on it and it kind of looked raggedy around the edges so that's why I didn't paint it all the way or it didn't cut the sweater perfectly. The one at Kirkland's had a little tag on the bottom so I used these table accents from Target. They were only a dollar and I just glued on the one that said Hello Fall. I could not remember what the Kirkland stem looked like at all, so I just wrapped around jute twine. I think the twine definitely worked and I was so happy with the results. I think this project looks so crafty and homey. This project might be my favorite out of all them. I framed this picture from the calendar using cardboard. I traced the whole calendar onto a piece of cardboard and then I added a one inch margin. And then I cut out four pieces that were 14 by one and a half inches and four pieces that were 11 inches long. I glued these rectangles together in pairs. So two of the 11 inch rectangles were glued together and then two of the 14 inch rectangles were glued together. I've been so excited with my results with using caulk so I wanted to try using it for the spring. So again, I spread the caulk around in one direction to make it look like wood grain. I did this for all my pieces of cardboard and then for each side of my cardboard pieces too. The sides did take a little while because 
there were so many holes in the cardboard. The first layer kind of went into the cardboard, so I put a second layer on and I applied this to all sides of the cardboard again. And again, I stained it with Minwax Special Walnut Stain. This time when I wiped off the stain, I felt like it was way too light and I really didn't like it. So I went back in with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Truffle and I first dry brushed it on and then I went back over it with a mixture of water and truffle paint with a foam brush and I really liked the way it blended it. So I painted that cardboard with antique parchment apple barrel paint. The paint was in drying. I got out my calendar and I cut out the picture that I was going to use and then I glued it onto the cardboard and then I glued on the pieces of the frame and as I was doing so, I was getting so excited because it started to look really cute. I think the darker color paint worked so much better. I think it really goes with the red truck. So this is how it turned out. Like I said, I just love this project. I think it's so cute. For this next project, I used two of these pumpkin signs from Dollar Tree, and I started out by painting them with folk art white chalk paint. I cut out this pumpkin shape out of Hobby Lobby scrapbooking buffalo check paper, and then I glued it onto the pumpkin, so I did that twice. Painted both stems with Waverly Truffle chalk paint, and then I took the one stem out and then I glued it onto the side of the pumpkin so that I have a long pumpkin and a fat pumpkin. And then I used this pack of words from Target. It was only a dollar and I used the orange ones. So I attached the word grateful to one pumpkin and thankful to the other. For this next project, I used this old pumpkin that I had, but you could use a craft pumpkin from Dollar Tree and this mop head from Dollar Tree. And I'll be cutting off the yarn pieces and gluing them onto the pumpkin to give it like a sweatery look. I started off by gluing the pieces of yarn around the stem of the pumpkin, but then I glued in between two pieces of yarn to fill in the rest of the pumpkin. And then I just cut and glued everything down. When I got towards the end, I had to start cutting the yarn pieces different lengths so that they wouldn't fold over each other and create bumps. But then I realized that I should have been doing that the whole time. So I did go back onto pieces that were bumping out and I just cut them down and then re-glued them. For the stem, I just glued jute twine around the original stem. This is how it turned out. I think it's so cute and cozy. I feel like it will be perfect for as the weather gets colder. For this next project, I picked up one of these crates from Dollar Tree and I stained it with Minwax Special Walnut. Make a sign for the front of this crate. I used a place card from Target's Dollar Spot, so you could just use black paper. I cut it to the size I needed and then I wrote on there with a chalk marker, pumpkins, 25 cents. I filled in my crate with a lamb's ear and then I put in my pumpkins. These are the clip-on pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I had painted them white and gold from a previous project and I love the way it looked for this one too. Attached my pumpkin sign just using glue dots. And this is how it turned out. It is so cute and I think it would be perfect for a tiered tray. These buffalo check pumpkins are from Dollar General and I think they look so cute too. This next project, I used this pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I just started by taking everything off of it, so the bow and the twine. I filled in the hole with speckle. I then covered the raised sections of the pumpkin with this paper. I did have it on hand, but you can get similar patterns at both Hobby Lobby and Michaels. For the middle section of the pumpkin, I traced it and then I cut it out, but then when I did the other sections, I kind of just pinched around the raised sections and this works a lot better. And when I cut it out, it fit much better too. I didn't have to trim it down or anything. I used Vinmax Special Walnut Stain again. And I, at first I was just gonna go around like the outline of the pumpkin, but then I decided to stain the whole thing. And then once it was done drying, I just glued on my pieces of paper. And just 
just used my hot glue gun to reattach the bow it came with and add this word thankful. It came from a pack from Target, it's a dollar spot, so it came with five other words and was only a dollar, so it was a good deal. And I think it is the perfect little accent for this piece. It came together so cute, I think. It looks so farmhouse. For this next project, I used this pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I started off by staining it with Minwax Special Walnut Stain. If you don't have stain on hand, you can also just mix together paint and water. I would probably use Waverly Truffle Chalk Paint. I want to make it look like it's on a stand, so I'm going to paint the base of it a different color. So I just taped off everything else and then I used Apple Barrel Pavement Paint to paint the base. When I was done painting it, I started to decorate, so I used one of these leaves from the Target Dollar Spot and then I painted it using English Ivy Green and King's Gold Apple Barrel paints. I mixed them together to create a brighter green. When I was painting, I didn't like how the paint wasn't going in the grooves of the leaf and how the paint was going on so thick you couldn't see the wood grain anymore. So I went back in with a wet foam brush and it took off some of the paint and then kind of poured it into the grooves so that it gave it more of a stained look and I thought it looked much better. Then I used one of these table accents from Target Dollar Spot. I used Fall is my favorite and I just hot glued that onto the front to give it a little more decoration. I wanted to make it look like it was a planner, so I used some greenery that I had on hand. I got this eucalyptus from Walmart a little while ago, and it was only $2, I think, for the pick. And it came with a lot more. I think it turned out so cute, and I love how the leaf on the front ties in so well with the eucalyptus. I think this could be perfect for a tiered tray. I used this old sign that I had, but they have similar shaped signs at Dollar Tree. I spray painted it with Rust Oleum Heirloom White, and then I wanted to fill the insides of it with this paper to match my other project. So I cut it out and I lined it up so that the pattern would match up, and then I glued it inside. Then I used these pumpkin stickers from Target's Dollar Spot. They came with six other pumpkins and they were only a dollar. And then once I stuck them on, I added this thankful sign from Dollar Tree and I just hot glued it on. For my last project, I used this thankful and blessed sign from Dollar Tree to try to recreate this Kirkland pumpkin sign. I first laid out my beads and then I just traced around where I wanted my beads to go. Then I spray painted all my beads and while they were drying, I prepped the pumpkin. So I painted it with Lake Fog Martha Stewart paint. It did dry a lot darker than I thought it would though. So I think if I were to redo this project, I would probably use Apple Barrel Light Mocha instead. While I was painting, I realized I never did anything about those holes at the top. So I just used some spackle and filled them in. And then I used Waverly Truffle Chalk Paint to paint the stem. Once the beads were done drying, I glued them on one by one with the hot glue gun. And I went back over the stem with antique parchment apple barrel paint. So I put very little paint on my paintbrush and then I just dry brushed it on to give it a more rustic look. The sign from Kirkland's also had welcome across it, so I used this welcome sign from Dollar Tree and I painted it orange. I used apple barrel paint and I think it would have worked way better if I had used chalk paint. Once I was done painting it, I just glued it on and then this is how it turned out. I think it looks so pretty. That is everything. I am so excited about all these projects. I love how they all turned out. The last DIY I've been wanting to make for so long and I'm so glad I finally had the chance to do it. That one along with the framed calendar are probably my favorites, but what are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Also, are you ready for Christmas or do you still want fall? I am excited to make Christmas crafts because I love them, but I also love fall crafts, so I want to keep soaking it in. Are you already making Christmas crafts or are you still doing fall? Let me know. Also, if you like this video, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.